Hi, this is how to tune your drums using Marley Weave. You'll know when they need tuning because the sound will go a bit flat or perhaps you'll see that there's a lot of give in the skin at the top. Um, it's quite a simple thing to do and I'll show you how to get some tension really quickly. So first of all, you need to find the spare rope, which is usually wrapped around the bottom um, here. So you need to undo it until you, you come back to the very start of the rope. Um, which is usually tied off in a knot, so you won't undo the actual drum. Okay, I've already done some weave on here, so you can probably see the rope starting to come up. Okay, so to do Marley weave, you're going to take the two strands, two verticals that are, are furthest apart, so you can see there's one going through the, the loop at the top and another one going through the loop, and you're aiming to start with those two different loops. So, you feed the rope under both. Pull it through. Don't pull it tight quite yet because it's useful to have that loop there. Then you're going to go back over and under the first loop again. Okay, and again, leave yourself a little bit of space there and then you pull that one down so that the bottom, the loop is going to end up under the bottom. Now, you can pull this by hand and give it a good pull and you'll see that the switch places. You can get hold of a rope cleat puller which is um, a sailing uh, gadget. It's called a power grip too. The one I've got it's a double-handed clam cleat puller. It'll actually pull the rope for you and it's much easier to do and you get a better tension. Okay, And it should stay in place. If it doesn't, when you put the next pair in it will. So then we go through the next pair through the two, back under the first one, lift it over so it's nice and low and the lower you keep it the more rounds of Marley Weave you can do. Pull it through and then either by hand or with the clan cleat pull it through and you'll see that it's really pulling at the skin already. Through under the two Back under the first one, lift it over, keep it low, and then pull through. And you'll notice I'm using my foot on the drum just to give me a bit of pull. Okay, when you've finished and you think you've done enough uh, knots that's going to raise the sound to the sound you like or the tension that you like, you then need to secure the rope. Okay, first job. It's a good idea to go through the two that you've just done. So you've done a kind of extra loop round and pull that. And then you've got a choice of what you do. You can keep wrapping around if you haven't got much rope there or thread it through and under and take it round to the bottom where it was before. Which might look a little bit tidier if you can Thread it down, trying to avoid twists in the rope if possible. And then I can go around the bottom and I've got some rope left for next time if I want to put some more knots in. And to secure it again I'm going to come back up, trying to keep it under the rope so it's nice and tight. Can't get through that one, go through the next one. And secure it underneath some uprights because they're nice and uh, tight against the drum skin. Okay. Until you're happy that the rope is out of the way, not going to get snagged. Be much better flap than it had before, and much less give in the surface.